Welcome guys. On this one, I'm going to show you how we use ropes. Uh, we don't use ropes very often, but on something like this, where the belt would not um, cover the whole tie down, I want to use a little bit of uh, ropes. Um, that way I feel a little more secure about this uneven loads. And um, it gives me an opportunity to just show you guys how we tie down, down the ropes. Now we, put, we place our ropes on the right hand side and we cut our ropes to the length of that if we had double uh, two doubles on top of each other it would be just enough that we tie it one way and we tie it the other way that way we have two ropes per uh, each uh, hives or per each pallet okay per each set and it gives us also an opportunity that uh, we start on one side we throw the ropes all the way across on one end we tie them down and we come, we go around one time, uh, we tie them in the back, and then we throw them the other way. And then when we are done, we just untie them from one side and we throw them over and we're done. Okay, that way you don't have to walk with each rope several times back and forth. Saves you a little bit of time, but you know, overall lifespan of the vehicle and your beekeeping career, every minute counts. So, and we want to work smarter, not harder. Um, the ropes we use, um, they have an orange line through them. That means they are DOT approved, okay? So not all ropes are the same. So you want to buy them from like a truck store. You want to make sure that they have the orange line. Uh, CHP officers will look for that, okay? So we tie them. We just simply tie a knot on the end of it like this. That way it's easier for us to throw. And then we put it on our hooks and then... We want to have a nice follow through swing. And if you're new to this, throwing ropes, um, one good tip is to point where you, where you want to throw it. So after you throw the rope, as I'm going to show you in a second, so we tie it. And then what you want to do is you want to throw it and then kind of point where you want to do it. Kind of like golf, you want to do a follow through. That way you're actually making that arc correctly. So if you're going to, if you were going to throw it, you would throw it and you point and after a while when you have done a couple of these you don't actually have to do that but for a beginner it might be a good good thing to do Let's go to the other side. Okay, now that we're on this side, some of these ropes did not land quite right. So we wanna, what we wanna do is we wanna back, walk back a little bit and then just kind of give it a ripple and then move it over to where it needs to be. And you wanna do that through all the ropes, making sure that they're not crossing. If you really mess that up, then you have to climb up, but give it a couple tries and you'll get it. Now, here's the knot that we use for for the ropes. So what we want to do is with our left hand, we want to put, put the rope with your palm facing down. You want to make one loop, flip it around. Now you go up with it. Now that you are here, what you want to do is grab the other rope with your other hand right before the bend right here. And you want to give it a two twists. Now without letting go of this rope, you want to put this into this loop right here. Okay, and that is what you're going for. And you want to make this quite a bit, not too small, not too big, about that big, maybe a little bit bigger. And then you want to make sure you have this open right here. And now all you're going to do is you're going to pull down with your weight. Now, if you can't, if you don't have, if you feel like it's not tight enough or you don't have enough body mass, what you can do is you can use your leg to do the exact same thing, okay? Now, in order for it to not to release so that you can finish looping, you wanna pinch the loop right here with your right fingers, and then you repeat the first step over again. You grab what's left with your palm facing down, flip it over, and you tie it. Same thing again, one more time. Flip it over, and you tie it. And now, 
that is pretty tight right there. Now, on this second loop, what you want to do, it depends which way you're going. If you're going to the right, you want to loop this around this way. The idea is the rope that's going to be going over pinches off the rope that's coming back from here, like this. So this, this area right here is being pinched off. The reason for that is that if you let this go, this will now be its own entity. It, so if this gets loose, this will not. Okay, that isolates it. And now you want to do about your arm span. Same thing. Make sure there's no knots in it. That way it flies nice and neat. And you throw it over again. All right, so one more time. Arm facing, palm facing down, flip it over, lift it up, two loops, put the first loop through the second loop, hold the second loop through, and now pull down. Okay. Now, if you have really heavy loads, let's say you're tying down barrels, what you can actually do after this right here, before looping it, you can make another loop, and then that loop will actually be pulling on the first loop. If you do three loops, you can actually rip this rope straight apart. Okay? Put that through, once again, tie it, do your arm span, throw it over, and just repeat. And that's it for this side. Okay, now that we're back on this side, we want to make sure once again we straighten all this out. I actually have to fix one of them, but same thing. We're just going to put the two loops together, hold that loop so it doesn't get loose. Pull that. Now what you want to do is, with the end of the rope, you can either wrap it around here, or what I like to do if you're carrying pallets, is just go ahead and slide inside the pallets, and that's it. And then just repeat the process. Hand on top, pull the loop, hand on top, make two loops. First loop goes in the second loop. Pull it down, hold on top, one, and two. And you can see this is the usually the maximum height that we carry. So we carry 10 pallets, stacks of 10 pallets. And that's so it's just easier to count. And that's about the right height for us. And if you really need it longer, then you can just do, you know, one rope per, per side. But usually we don't carry anything higher. So we just purpose built them. And that's it. And these ropes are a little bit newer. That's why they're, that's why that one had a little bit extra. You can see it's worn a little bit. And these are newer. So we actually, I actually measured it and I cut it to the right spec. Okay, now that we are at the location, let me show you how uh, we untie this. So we threw it over here. So this is the halfway uh, for the rope. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna put this loop, this, this loop out here, we're going to put it through this slot right here. Just go ahead and move it through right here. And then once it's all the way through, this rope just comes undone. And then we can just pull it through. And now you see right here, even though this is loose, because we pinched it over right here, the top rope, the, the one that's on top, is pinching over this rope. So this is its own entity. But what we can do now is we can just pull it through. And now that's it. And now all we gotta do is just throw it back over. And that's it. And so we just go through all of this and then we put the rope up.
Okay, now that we're on this side, this pretty much, this is the end that was in there. And now we want to grab the end that doesn't have the actual loop. And then we want to hang it about halfway down right here. Oh, about four, about, I would say, two and a half feet. And now what we want to do is, we, I just make it the arm length. And then you just go like that. Now, what we want to do is now, is now with the loop right here, is we want to wrap it around towards the top at least twice. But if you have a little bit more, you can keep going. And then towards the end, you put it through this big loop right here. And that's it. And now that will hang no problem. And then we just saw a simple, not a hook, but a rod that we hang it up right here. That's it. Ropes are very cheap and a very good way to tie down if you if I had some practice with it. And I always try to keep hooks on our trucks just for that occasion because you're always gonna get a strange load and you can never have too many tie down options. All right guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.